The parachute rig is admittedly a very unorthodox and very old school looking rig. However, it is an incredible method for getting a small scattering of bait around your hook bait and is perfect for those in the edge and very close range opportunities. Begin by making your preferred rig for the area you are going to be fishing. Here we are making a very simple coated braid D rig to suit a low sitting wafter. Although there is no rule to which hook link you use, it is important to realise that the stiffer the material, the further the rig will be from your lead. Using a coated braid ensures the rig is pushed away, but not too aggressively. For this video we have made quite a short rig, so it fits in the demo tank. The longer the rig, the wider the spread of bait as the mesh melts. Choose a PVA mesh that will hold the desired amount of bait you wish to use. Those marginal and stalking spots really do not need much, and less can quite often be more in those places. Tie a knot in the end of the mesh leaving a long tag end. Add your bait. Here we are using just four Pacific tuna boilies. Drop half of the bait into the PVA funnel. Then insert a PVA nugget. Compress but not too tightly. Then add the other half of your free offering bait. Compress and extract the stocking. The aim is not to compress it too tightly and flatten the nugget too much, as this will affect the parachute's buoyancy. Tie off the mesh leaving another long tag. Tie the two tag ends together, creating an arc in the stocking like a parachute shape. Make the knot as central as possible. Your hook is then passed through the mesh either near the knot, or if you have a loose hair the tags can be used again to wrap the hair in position. Here we have chosen a Pacific Tuna 12mm wafter as a match the hatch option. This is attached to the hook swivel using bait floss. For more CC More content, subscribe to both of our YouTube channels.